Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to help you set up the TBS Nano receiver. Now this will work with both the Crossfire Nano PWM receiver and the Tracer PWM receiver. So let's take a look at the radio. First thing we need to do is go into our model settings and then set the receiver. So we've got to turn the external module on and set it to Crossfire then channel one to channel 16. I've not put a receiver number in this time. So that is the first thing we need to do. Now on my model, the channel for the throttle is channel three. You can see there, I've set up a safe throttle and I've done a previous video for that. So I've got a safe throttle there. Now I'm gonna plug the receiver in and you will hear some noise coming from the receiver. So we'll try and do this process fairly quickly, but you'll see that channel three is already operational. So I didn't want to have the throttle not work properly, so I checked that first. Um, but I have taken the prop off of the plane's motor. So let's plug in. Now you can hear there's a lot of ticking noise going on, so I don't want to blow my servos up. So what we're going to do is now go to system and we're going to go into the Crossfire Lewis scripts. And then we're going to go down to the Tracer Nano, push enter, and it will start loading up the, the, the settings. Now you'll see there the receiver is supplied set up as it would be for uh, connecting to your flight controller. So I obviously wouldn't do it this way now because I know how to do it. I would go in and set this up before I plug the servos in. But we're going to put this right in a second. And as you can see, we've got Output one is Crossfire Transmit, Crossfire Receive, Channel three is set up okay, Smart Audio, and we, we've got BS, BST, SCL, and BST, SDA. Now the first thing we're gonna do is to try and stop that noise from the servos, is go to, let's put channel one in there quickly, let's put channel, oops, channel two in there, and let's put channel four you wouldn't need to do it at this speed, it's only because I'm trying to stop the servos from blowing up. There you go. Now you can hear, everything's stopped. So I would then go on, you don't necessarily need to do this, but I'm changing. And I have flown Crossfire, setting it up this way. So let's put that to channel five. Oops, a daisy, too far. Five, and then change that one to channel six. Now you can, yes, you can hear that the the servers are happy now because they're receiving proper signals. Now, if I actuate the ailerons, you can see only one's working. And if I use the, the elevators working, we're not gonna worry about the sense at the moment, and the throttle should be working. There we go. Now, what we can do is we, we don't need to do anything on the radio with regard to the mixing. So. Because what I've done, this model doesn't have a rudder, so I've left the rudder channel as if you had a rudder, a full, uh, full house uh, aeroplane that you wanted to set up. So that would be, channel one would be rudder, but all I need to do is go down to output five and change it to output four. Now, now you'll see if we look at the plane, both the ailerons are moving without even having to change any of the mixes. So now we should be, we should be good. We're armed and we've got the throttle, great. Ailerons, in my I fly mode one, so you would have to change yours. There we go. Elevator is the wrong way, of course. But there we go, everything's working correctly with the, the outputs that I've set up there. That's quite cool that you can just change that and just give the same input name to the, uh, sorry, the same channel to the output five and now the you've got the correct mixing for your ailerons but when you look at the radio it will just only show one aileron now we need to check that the control surfaces are working in the correct sense so we can come out of here oh firstly i'm going to turn off the um, rc maglink because i'm not using that so we can turn that off we're going to come on to setting up fail safe a little bit later because that's important on a um, fixed wing so we should be good to go here so we can push return and come out so let's have a look at the control surfaces. Are we working in the correct way? So I'm gonna bank my aeroplane right. 
And so that is going left, isn't it? Yes, that's going left. All right, that's not good, is it? Yeah, that'll be going left. So what we need to do is we need to go into our model and go along and we are going to change in the mixes. As you can see, there are only four channels there, but we're operating five uh, servos because of that channel four being connected to two outputs on the Nano itself. So let's go into Aileron. I'm going to push enter and we're just going to change that to a minus. Oops, a daisy. Always go the wrong way. Okay, minus 100. Okay, let's, okay, let's test. Bank. I'm oh, sorry, beg your pardon. Roll right, roll left. That is good. Okay, so we can come out there, we can push. Return. Now, the elevator. You can see I'm pulling down. Um, I want to go up elevator and we are going down. So that's the wrong way. That could be disastrous. So we're going to do the same with the elevator. Click enter and enter. Change, change that to a minus 100. And we should be good. There we go. So now everything should be working correctly. Let's push, come out. So we arm. Our motor's working. We've got elevator, up elevator, down elevator, roll left, roll right. Now we've got our control services working correctly. Let's take another, we're going to go look at the model. We're going to go to the model. We're going to go along to telemetry and then we're going to discover all the telemetry sensors. So we go discover new sensors and up they come. There we go, we can push enter to stop discovery. So now we've got our telemetry coming back from the nano receiver. Okay, and the next thing we're gonna do is set up, let's set up the telemetry warnings. So we're gonna go back, we need to go into logical switches. So let's go down and we are now going to, whoops, push enter once, enter. This should be A is smaller than, and we are going to pick up the RQLY, which now we've got because we discovered the sensors. So you need to discover those first. Oops, RQ, that's too fast. There we go. Now I read in the manual that they suggest you set this figure to 50%. That's in the Black Sheep manual. So we are going to do that. Then we are going to put a delay in of five seconds. So if you lose it for less than a half a, a, a second, it won't give a warning. It has to go on for longer than that. Now let's set up a sound for our link quality if it goes below 50%. So we are going to pick up logical switch three, which we just set up. I always miss these. Oops, there we go. Three. We're going to play a track. And then we're going to look for L. There we go. Link quality critical. And we should be good to go then. Now let's set up the fail safe. We're going to go into system and the Lewis scripts for the crossfire. Then we're going to go into our tracer micro TX. And in here we have to push set. Now what I'm going to do is just leave the arm switch disarmed. I'm going to push this, enter button. And then we want to change the fail safe type to fail safe position. And we have to push enter. And this is a bit tricky sometimes to get this right. So it's not said, it's set. Okay, but we'll try. Let's see if it has set. So now let's test if the fail safe is working. So I'm, I'm going to arm. I'm going to put the motor on. I'm going to turn my radio off.
There we go. Receiver's gone to fail safe. So the fail safe is working. Thanks for watching this video and if you enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up and if you really enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments or questions please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you and please share this video with your friends and please consider becoming a patron of my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, happy flying, bye for now.